Hi, it's Noah Digital again. We today have a change maker out, out of a sector which yeah, is relatively new. Uh, I think big players are yet to be emerged, especially on the B2B side. And when you start talking to Elias about the drone industry, it's getting really interesting. Elias, welcome to Noah Digital Video. Hi, Marco. It's great to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Super awesome. And I see you come prepared. You have the product in the background. Um, I think there's so much uh, history behind Vintra um, because it's one of the shooting stars out of the Swiss digital ecosystem. And you were supposed to speak at Noah. Noah Zurich. Sure. So, uh, Wingtra is an ETH spin off. Actually, we spun off from the university five years ago. And it was based on about three years' research. And what was really amazing that we could start with an engineering team of about 12 engineers that have very specific knowledge in this type of drone. And so, we could already start with a very profound. Um, technical understanding of the, of the problem. And then we started to, to build a product that now serves hundreds of customers globally. And I think that's a great achievement. We are now about 80 people and have people in uh, six different locations globally. And the commercial side is of course also focused on the US, which is our biggest market, but we definitely also have customers in Europe, Switzerland, Asia, Australia is also relevant. Um, what we more or less do, we are a measurement tool um, for engineers, mainly surveyors and civil engineers that monitor progress on their sites. It can be construction sites, mines, larger projects. Um, so after you flew with our drone, you get a map, a 2D or 3D map, which has a below one centimeter accuracy. So it's survey grade data. And I think this is the change to consumer drones, that drones are now becoming a tool that can be used in the, in the commercial area. They are now safe, reliable, and, and deliver the data uh, on an accurate and reliable basis. So you are in the B2B space and the customers are getting the hardware from you. It's almost like a hardware as a service because you take care uh, that the drone flies, but operation of the drone is left with the customer. And I guess when you have a setup like this, where the drone is so easy to operate, you can scale really as a Swiss company globally fast without having local people to train or to help operate the drone. Yes, definitely. I think you got it super right. We believe every site, every mine, every construction site, every railway station will have a drone that regularly collects data of it and measures how it develops. Uh, so I think it has to be easy that the people operating on the ground can just press one or two buttons and they get the relevant data in. So I think what's important to understand in the drone space, you have to solve not only the drone, but also the data acquisition and then the post-processing of the data in a very good manner that it actually delivers value to the customer. So it's not that we work on an easy task, but every area gets much simpler or got much simpler over the last couple of years. And now a lot of even large corporates starts to integrate these solutions into their value chains which we think is super important because actually you can save a lot of money and make a lot of operations more efficient, which of course also reduces CO2 consumptions heavily if you don't have to build everything twice, but you get it right the first time. Yeah, talking about CO2, could Vintra be the police for our rainforests, for example? I think we can definitely help. I think satellites, they give you a very good sense if there is a forest, yes or no but it's very hard to understand how well the forest is. Is it growing fast? How is it developing? Uh, is it shrinking or is it getting larger? So I think there drones can definitely add more details to the picture. Um, on the more like governmental or NGO type of customers, do you see willingness or interest to share data? Um, no one seems to have the idea of a global center point of data, right? You're measuring the glaciers, the forests, you seem to be the forefront detecting the symptoms of climate change. 
Yes, it's a good point, Marco. I think the, the data is very scattered around. So there are like different entities, different people that, that collect data, but it's like, it's not aggregated very well. You know, I guess for humans, it's always important to see the impact of, of something like climate change. How expensive is the Wingtra? So it starts just below 20,000 US dollars. And then if you want to go to really the high accurate solution, which is really targeted for surveyors and engineers, it goes to 35,000 US dollars. It flies about an hour and you can cover at like about 400 hectares in one flight. And it's very easy to also measure larger areas. Then you just have a binary swap in between and it takes off fully autonomously again. So it's really a tool that can collect data of, of very large areas at a very high precision. I think that's, that's really the game changer that you have on the whole area, the precision of your data, which is just very amazing. If you sell a drone, it's not yet a solution to a problem. You have to have a full value chain and a team that actually can work with the data. Um, do you see lots of competition in your market when you apply for RFPs? Um, so in, in our market, we say we are a vertical takeoff and landing plane. So in, mm -hmm. in that area, we are in the commercial side, we are a clear market leader. Of course, there are also, it's also some competition. Uh, but we have a unique approach to solving these problems with only four movable parts. And so that's why we are much more reliable and easy to operate than the competition at the moment. If you look at the use cases and the growth, is Vintra becoming some type of standards in the mining industry? As an investor, I would ask myself, okay, how risky it is or how likely it is to get to a penetration of like a third or... Um, how, how do you look at this within that vertical or are there just so many business opportunities that you don't really have to worry at the moment where the growth is coming from? I think we are somewhat in a blue ocean, blue ocean market. So we have very different markets where we can add value. Um, so I think mining is an important one for us in terms of penetration of the larger open pit mines. I would say globally maybe 10 percent of the mines at the moment work with drone data and of those maybe 10 percent work with Wingtra. so you established a market leader congratulations for that you are a change maker talk a little bit about where Wingtra stands on the capital stage development and also what the future will bring i think what was a big challenge for us in fundraising is that it's quite easy to show a video of a drone flying once. So for an investor, it's hard to understand if there is real tech behind and real understanding, or if it's just a nice idea. So when do you expect to come back to the market for a next capital round in like one, two years, or it's not the... I think earliest, very, I mean, we would only raise again to, to go bigger in, into new markets. Uh, and I think, so there it's not, there is a little bit more flexibility now. So I think it's earliest in the second half of next year, when yeah. you also, of course see how COVID is going. Um, I mean, for us, of course, we are in an industry that keeps moving, construction did not stop. Um, so it's, it's okay, but of course we also have, have, to, have, yeah, have to have an overview and, and then take the decision how we want to scale further. Elias, thank you. That was a great, great update from Vintra from my last, last visit. Um, and the super honor to, to yeah, be close to you and learn what your next steps are. I think there are more and more use cases popping up. And we'd love to have you at the first physical Noah Zurich, which seems to happen. We have unfinished business. We have to bring the conference to them. Super good. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you, Marco.